This an ultra-high-density Moino photobioreactor. It operates on the symbiotic relationship between yeast and chlorella algae with molasses as fuel and light as source of energy in a closed airtight system. It has a capacity of 40 moina per milliliters and a propagation rate of 1 moina to 500 moina within 72 hours. This is a simplified simulation of the moina photobioreactor. The fuel used is molasses which is mainly composed of glucose, fructose and sucrose. Through metabolic respiration which is in the presence of oxygen, yeast propagates on the molasses and releases carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide is absorbed by chlorella algae which propagates through the process of photosynthesis in the presence of light and releases oxygen. Chlorella algae is able to propagate on glucose through a process called heterotropic metabolism. During this process, the glucose is converted and stored as fatty acids in the chlorella algae. The symbiosis culture medium is saturated in dissolved oxygen, protein from the chlorella, fatty acids from the chlorella resulting from heterotropic metabolism. This combination enables moina to propagate rapidly in ultra-high density. 1 moina to 500 moina within 72 hours. We will now look at the propagation of the moina when it is in a rich environment of fatty acids, proteins and oxygen same as in the photobioreactor but for better understanding we will observe it in a petri dish which is airtight and has the same environment as in the photobioreactor. For simplicity we will observe the propagation of one moina born from a previous photobioreactor. The petri dish contain a total volume of 20 milliliters, 25% of medium A and 75% of medium B. After 36 hours the moina has reproduced, and when moina is kept in such environment it produces an average of 27 moina nopli per brood. The reason for large broods is due to the high content of fatty acids in the culture medium from heterotropic metabolism of chlorella. At the same time chlorella and yeast are propagating at a tremendous rate. Within 36 hours the color of the culture medium is already a solid pale green, this color change is not visible on the petri dish due to the small depth and the bright light. After 48 hours the culture medium in the photobioreactor is solid dark green and the, the culture density of chlorella and yeast have reached their peak along with the saturation of dissolved oxygen and carbon dioxide. Between 48 to 60 hours the nopli are already adults and ready to produce a new brood. The speed at which the new brood reach maturity is the combined effect of an environment rich in nutrients and dissolved oxygen and as moina are unselective filter feeders, as they move they absorb nutrients to grow or reproduce. The color of the culture medium changes to a transparent brownish green. After 72 hours density of moina takes over the system and absorb all of the chlorella and yeast. Note that molasses is not the limiting factor as it is still in excess after 72 hours. Oxygen is still present after 72 hours and the culture can stand idle for another 8 hours, up to a total of 80 hours. Materials 1. Chlorella vulgaris starter culture. We are aware that pure chlorella starter culture is not available for everybody. That is why we will teach you how to obtain a pure chlorella starter culture from naturally occurring green water. Chlorella being the dominant algae in any freshwater body. Through the addition of high level of fertilizers at specific dosage, a pure culture of chlorella is easily obtained and all the other organisms will be wiped off. 2. Yeast, common name Baker's yeast, scientific name Saccharomyces cerevisiae. 3. Fertilizers, NPK elements that is nitrogen, phosphate and potassium. 4. Molasses, cane molasses, available worldwide. Its composition is consistent, that is 12% glucose. 13% fructose and 39% sucrose. Molasses is rich in trace elements and vitamins especially B complex. 5. Light, for simplicity, a fluorescent 30 to 50 watt white light. 6. A clear transparent plastic vessel. 7. Moina macrocopa, the most commonly cultured moina and also the most abundantly available in wild. Moina macrocopa is the moina that is able to propagate in high culture density. Full documentary of the step-by-step -step setup of the Moina photobioreactor is available on Vimeo.